Hey everyone. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and film a part of my Amazon returns bin store haul because I have to mail this off right now. I'm filming and it is Wednesday. So, um, it's midweek and, uh, tomorrow is $1 day and 50 cent day. So, um, I'll still have other stuff that I'm going to include, but like I said, I want to go ahead and film this part of the haul because I have to mail it. <clears throat> so the reason why I'm mailing this stuff, um, is because uh, I'm sending it to my niece, um, the one that had visited about, oh, um, a week and a half ago, I guess. And um, she's going to be going back to the Philippines with my cousins, um, with her dad and um, uh, her aunts. So anyways, she's a very big Taylor Swift fan. And I was able to find some stuff over at the bin stores for a dollar. And, um, yeah, so I want to go ahead and send this to her because she did tell me that a lot of Taylor Swift merch in the Philippines is pretty pricey, especially, um, when it's from the U S especially the, um, official merch. So she was so happy to be able to get the new album that came out last Friday. Um, and then when we were at the bin store, when I took her, she was able to find a blanket that had Taylor Swift on it. And so, um, yeah, so let me go ahead and get started. So today, um, it was 50 cent day for um, a different store, and I found these bags. Now, they were scattered in the bin, and so I was able to collect all of them, and then I found the plastic bag, I guess, that it went in and put it in, hoping that they would not charge me for these, you know, like individually. And thankfully enough, the guy just went ahead and just charged me 50 cents. There are... Um, six different types to each. So I got a total of like 12 bags and, um, I'm going to go ahead and include one each in, um, the package that I'm sending her so that she can have, she's got these, she can cut them up, you know, and, um, display them. They're really cute images. They're very similar to the patches that I had gotten and that I'd also sent to my friend Clarissa. So we have this one, this one, this, 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 and this. So I'm going to keep um, a set. Well, I'm, I'm going to keep one of each because I'm going to use them to pack up like birthday gifts for my nieces this year. Um, the second item that I did find, which I'm not sending, I'm going to give this to my niece in June. It's a jewelry box. It's got Taylor Swift on it. And there you go just like that because she's starting to get into jewelry and I thought this would be a good way for her to keep it all together because according to her sister, she just throws her necklaces and earrings all over the place in their bedroom. They share a bedroom. Um, the next thing that I got her, oh, and this was just a dollar. Um, okay. So this came from a different store and then the, everything else I'm going to show you came from another store. So I did pick up another set of these stickers um, that are all Taylor Swift themed and they're purple or lavender. I was actually surprised. I think somebody hid this to get it for themselves, but I kind of knew what this was by the shape when I saw it. So um, somebody had hid these over by the books at the store and these were postcards. But what I was surprised was that they were all Taylor Swift so I'm sending this to my niece so she can, um, you know, put these up on her wall um, to decorate as a collage. So I don't know how much these go for online, but yeah, I thought this would be really, you know, cool for her to have. So actually what I think I will do is, where is it? Oh, I love that song. I actually like the dance version to this. You need to calm down. Um, there's folklore. I think I will put red on top. So when she opens it, she will see that. I think there's like 50 cards. I see a lot of these like collage, wall collage kits, um, over at the bin stores, but this is the first time I've seen a Taylor Swift one and that's the brand. If you want to look it up on Amazon, um, I found this. I'm not going to take it out of the packaging, but it is a, a tote bag. Okay. And, um, it says Taylor book. So TV, I knew that this had to be Taylor Swift. Cause yeah, as you can see, these are the, um, 
names of her different albums. Um, Midnights. I think this is Evermore. Folklore. I don't know what that one is. Uh, there's Reputation, 1989. What is that? Red. Speak Now. Fearless. And then Taylor Swift. So, yeah, thought she'd like this. Once again, got that for a dollar. And then the last item is something actually that my mom found, not really knowing what it was, um, or she wasn't sure. She knew this was Taylor Swift's face, but she didn't open it when she was at the store. So when she brought it home, I, I was laughing because I had seen this also at the store and I looked it up and I was like, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if, you know, if my niece Tisa is going to like that. Well, turns out, and, um, so I don't know if you, if you guys know anything about the Philippines, it's a very, it's the only Catholic, um, country in Asia, the only Christian country in Asia. Yes. I was born and raised Catholic, not practicing, but even I know that this might be kind of overstepping. So it's a picture of Taylor <laughs> in the image of Jesus. Yeah. Okay. So that's a little scandalous, right? So I went ahead and still sent a picture to Tiza and she loved it. Okay. So she wanted it. So I went ahead. Okay. So, cause we don't know what we're going to do with this. So we're going to go ahead and just send it to her. So yeah, these are the Taylor Swift items that I got for her. And, um, I also did find, and I didn't, I don't know if I'll include this in the haul video, but, um, I had found, a, a folklore album for a dollar. And then the following week, I found the album Red in um, the bin store for a dollar. The cover was all smashed up, but the CDs are still intact. And um, But I'm not sending this to her because she's already got those albums. I'll just keep it for myself. But anyways, yeah, so this is all the Taylor Swift um, themed items that I was able to find over at the bin store. So I'll come back with the rest of my haul for this week. All right. Bye. All right. So I'm back. Yes, I did change my um, layout here. Uh, this is a new um, setup that I just made with a Dollar Tree foam board and the, um, I guess, I don't know, adhesive wallpaper or whatever. Um, I, it took four of them <laughs> to fit on this um, foam board. So I figured, yeah, I wanted to change it up a bit. Um, Anyways, let me go ahead and get done with what I do have. It'll make uh, filming a lot easier and probably quicker. So um, what I'm about to show you is probably some 50 cent stuff and $1 stuff. Um, part of it is from last week. I forgot to film the 50 cent stuff from Friday. So let's just go ahead and get started. It's not in any particular order, um, but I will say what the prices are. So I found this. These are keycaps. They're um, PBT keycaps, and I got them for $1. No, I got them for 50 cents. So they're just basic black. Um, I'm sorry, white. There is some black, but mostly white. And there we go. As you can see, and I do kind of like, I'm not sure what um, type these are. Oh, uh, let's see. You might see it here. They're black and white. It doesn't say other than XB, XVX. But I've I've purchased um from the bin stores this brand before, and you know they work out fine. So I may use this on um that mechanical keyboard that I had got last week. Um, even though I did find those keycaps, um, I liked these better. I don't know. I might keep these for myself, actually, and then use the other ones for uh, that keyboard because I think I will give it to a friend of mine instead of selling it. So, yeah, it's going to be hard to try to fit these back in there. All right. So we got that. Um, found these. These are poly mailers, and it's in a lavender color. There's 20 of them, six by nine. I can always use these um, when I'm selling stuff and it's not bad, you know, for 50 cents actually. Um, now I found this one 
two weeks ago. I don't know if I showed it in a um, video because sometimes I don't show the food items that I find, um, but I did get two of them uh, in a box. This one is supposed is vitamin D, D3, supports bone, muscle, and immune function. It's in blackberry peach flavor. I did try it. It's not bad. I was just a little... Um, surprised at, uh, the carbonation, I guess, but yeah, it, you know, it's fine. I mean, there's how many tablets in here? 20. And then I found this one for a dollar yesterday. Um, this one is the beauty one and it's biotin supports hair, skin, nails, collagen, and vitamin E strawberry kiwi. I haven't tried this one yet, but, um, yeah, I'll give it a go. Let me make sure. Hmm. It says it ex it's expired. It's only $1, but I don't know. I'll still try it, even though it does say that. Hmm. We'll see. Um, found this one yesterday. This was a dollar. And I've found kits like this before. Uh, Clarissa. <laughs> this is a 1920s flapper um, kit. So it comes with the, you know, costume kit. It comes with the little, with the cigarette. Uh, I, yeah, this one is a pearl bracelet. I believe this is the pearl necklace. These are the gloves. Comes with the earrings. I hope I'm in focus. So I'm not looking at the, um, the screen. And then the feathered head, um, headdress, headband. And I like this detail on it. So it's a little bit different from the ones that I've found before. So that's going in somebody's box. <laughs> Not bad. Find it for a dollar. I always find them for so cheap because, you know, people aren't looking for stuff like that. Okay. Um, this one I do, um, I'm going to use. It's a mask case. And I like this because, one, it, it's green. Um, two, it's for the larger masks, not the, um, and of course I don't have one on me here, but it's for the other types of masks. Anyways, I have a ton of those and I like to use those masks when I'm traveling. Um, because in that way, you know, it's not going to get crushed in my bag. So I was happy to find that. And that was a dollar. I was looking for another one so that I could give it to my mom because she's going to be traveling. She's going on a cruise next month to Alaska. And um, yeah, I wanted to find another one to give to her, but I didn't see any. So hopefully I'll get lucky and find one um, next week. This one was on 50 Cent Day at one of the stores. And, um, you know, I had ignored it <laughs> all week. And then when I saw it there for 50 cents, I was like, ah, uh, why not? It's a, you know, um, this is like a six size. I love the color mint and it's got two pen loops. Um, you know, the pockets, I don't know. Um, we'll see. I could use this. I have the, um, what do you call it? Let's see if they're right here. You thought, yep, they are. I have Oh, these might be too big. Yeah, these are for A5. Okay. I know I have some more of these type of, um, I don't even know what you call them now, binders or whatever. Um, they're somewhere, but it's not bad for 50 cents, right? Okay. I don't know if I showed this before. These are white pen, um, paint pens. And they're in different, are they in different sizes? Let me see, that's a 1.0. Yeah, they're all the same size. Uh, my sister does a lot of uh, lettering and stuff um, as a side hustle. So I might, I'll go ahead and give those to her. Um, let's see, what else we got in here? Now I know I showed that. Hold on. Okay. So this was on 50 cent day and this is a micro needle, um, for like your skin, for your face, it's 0 0.5. So it's pretty fine. It didn't come with the box, but at least it was in the case. I'm going to disinfect this, but you, you know, it's the ones that you use on your face. I mean, it's 50 cents. I could try it. You know, sometimes when I get this kind of stuff and turns out it's not worth it. I mean, I don't have any qualms about tossing it. 
you know, because it was only 50 cents. This one right here, this is a manicure set. Um, so you've got the cuticle clippers and then you've got also for the cuticles. And this is also to remove like nail polish, you know, like that you weren't able to get off when you were. Yeah. So that's what it says. Cause I had to look it up on Amazon to see what it was. Um, cause that one I was a little confused about, but Hey, 50 cents. Why not? I always need an extra pair of the cuticle clippers because I can never seem to find mine half the time. It's like, I don't know where I put them. Okay. Um, this one right here, these are, I think, I don't know if I showed this. I might have. They were just, you know, wired earphones. And I think, what were these? Were these Lightning or Android? Let me see. I'm trying to look for one that's open. Here we go. This is... Android. So, you know, not bad to have, um, especially when my buds go dead, you know, I have like, I've got like three of these. So, and then I have like all these off brand ones, but it's always good to have these as a backup. Um, actually, I think I got these to give to my nieces. So when they go on their, um, vacation, you know, if their buds go dead and they can't recharge it because they're going on a road trip. Are they going on a road trip? Actually, no, they're flying to Vegas, but they'll be driving to um, the Grand Canyon. So yeah, they can use this in the car um, to drown out their brother who's going to be playing on the Switch. So about that. This one, uh, Clarissa, this is, I, I think I have shown this. This is the omnidirectional uh, microphone. This one is um, Apple or yeah, this one is for Apple phones because I know she's going to need it and it has an extremely long cord, which is really good. So oh, there's some pieces that have fallen out, but anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give that to her. So then hopefully um, that'll help and, you know, sound on her videos will be extra crispy. Um, cause right now I'm using a wire, a wireless mic and I do have a couple of wired ones, but I just can't be bothered right now to go and set it up. And also, um, I don't know, I think I'll get annoyed with having to worry about the wire, uh, hanging and then showing on video. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know I showed that one. Okay. And then this is, this is the last item. This one is, um, I got this one yesterday, so it's a dollar. I'm going to give this to my oldest niece. Um, so I was luck I was lucky enough to find the cover because it was just laying like this. And let's see here. Looks like it's still intact. I think the clip, actually, the clip is missing. Oh, not good. So I'm going to have to find a, um, the ring clip that's going to be big enough to fit this. Oh boy. Look at that. I mean, that's, that's a lot, you know? So yeah. So that's what it looks like. So you've got, okay, you've got the foot and then all of the, um, names of the different parts. So let's see here. Actually, what I thought was interesting was that this would be really good. I wish I had this when I was studying massage therapy, because yeah, we were still required to know the bones. Um, okay, so I've seen on, what do you call this? On Instagram and other places where people take the, what do you call this? Um, the transparent or vellum, um, post-its, right? And we'll trace it out. Okay. And then they can stick that in their notes or <laughs> you can just take a picture of it and then print it out on a thermal printer. You know, that's even easier. And then just stick it in your notes. So yeah, I'm just, uh, I mean, it was a dollar and I'm, mean, even though I don't know if my niece is going to take anything, um, 
in the, anything in the medical field, one of them, one of my nieces or nephews probably will. I mean, we come from a family that's pretty much all in the medical field. So yeah, it's not bad for just $1, right? So yeah, that is everything that I was able to find. And I will be back again with what I find the next day. Okay. All right. So here are more items. And this is on, these were all a dollar. So, well, actually, no, no, I take that back. These were 50 cents. So I have been looking, actually it showed up. I don't know why on my Instagram feed, but there was like this ad for this type of container or bag that you can store like medication that needs to be um, refrigerated, right? Well, I have to do daily insulin shots and there is this one that looked really good um, that I saw on Amazon, but it's like $20, $25. And I didn't want to pay that. Now, the only time I would need to carry my insulin would be like if I'm traveling and I came across this and it's insulated. And I think it is specifically for like injectable pins because it has these bands right here and the way that it's just the way that this is constructed. That's what I'm thinking. So this is kind of great um, for me to use because yeah, it had a plane on there. So obviously, um, you know, so when I do travel, if I have to, like I said, carry my insulin or my, my uh, Monjero, you know, this is perfect for it. So I found that these, it's kind of funny that I did find it. Um, I couldn't really see through the bag and I didn't have them open it. So when I got home, um, I went ahead and took it out and it's cream tape. It's correction tape, but it's cream colored. And this is perfect because Hobonichi uh, Weeks, I know uh, the paper is, I think the Tomo River paper is cream because I've used like my um, regular like um, white correction and it does kind of like it's noticeable. So I'm going to try it with this and see how that works. So it came in a set of two. Not bad for 50 cents. Um, this one I did not actually get for 50 cents. It was $2 because one of the stores is $2 a day. Now it is missing a part. It's missing the hot shoe um, thingy right there, but that's okay because I'm not really going to use this to mount on um, a camera. So this is a portable, um, it's a portable video light. Okay. And it's rechargeable. Now, the only reason why I got it is because this is really good for when our power goes out. Um, now that it's spring, we're going to, we tend to get more thunderstorms and like really severe thunderstorms. And last year, the day after my birthday, we had this really, really, really bad storm that, pretty much knocked out my hometown, like, um, down so many trees that the entire, almost the entire town lost power. And for days, some people weeks. So like my house, we did not have power for probably about four days, I think. And this is like in June, you know, close to July and the summers here are very, very hot and humid. So it was, it was pretty bad. And, um, even though I've, I've got a lot of power banks, um, we do have, um, I mean, we're prepared for stuff like that, but this is just another great option because the battery is, you know, it, it lasts long. So in case, um, the other lights that I have are, um, you know, we run out of batteries or whatnot, I have this option. And the great thing about this, and you can see, you can adjust the temperature of the light. So you know, if you want it to be more daylight, you can make it more daylight, you know, or you can make it more like natural light. So yeah. And then you can adjust the brightness as well. So that's set to 38% and you can see how bright it's getting up to 100%. So yeah, not bad. It's only $2. And like I said, it's rechargeable. There's, um, USB-C and I can charge it with the power bank. So I thought, okay, I don't mind getting that. I can use it for reading. Last thing I got were playing cards. Um, because 
I always need these for like projects and stuff. Um, I have an upcoming project that I'm going to be showing and that those are the altered playing cards. These are cards that I got from Dollar Tree and you can see how pretty wide they are, but it is ATC um, size. These are a lot smaller. Look at that. They're like, yeah, they're much, much smaller. So it's almost like more like business card uh, size. So we'll see. Um, I will have to file down because it's coded, obviously, and that's going to make it harder for um, stuff to stick on. So hi, everyone. So I'm back. This is uh, going to be from uh, $1 a day as well at a different store. I actually did not go to 50 cent day on Friday. Um, I just didn't feel like it. I had a feeling they weren't really going to have a lot of stuff because that particular store that does 50 cent day, um, when I went there on $1 day, there wasn't really much. And so, yeah, I just didn't think it was going to be worth it. Um, I did stop over at one of the other stores and it was the reset day. So everything in the store was $8 and I will show you an item that I did get. The only reason why I stopped by there is because I wanted to see if they had any, you know, scrapbook, junk journal type of stuff, planner stuff. Um, I did see a couple of things, but I didn't get them because, you know, that stuff is most likely going to be there on $1 day. So I can just wait for that. But like I did say, I purchased one item for $8 and I'll show you why. Um, so let me go ahead and show you the $1 stuff. So I had gone ahead and texted my sister and asked her if she wanted me to get this for her daughters or for her. It's the uh, Quiche Ceramic Thermal roll Rollers. This bag's never been open and um, they have long hair. I'm the only one in the family that has short hair. All of my sisters, my nieces, they all have long hair. So she said that she wanted it. So I went ahead and got that for her. Uh, let's see what else. I saw this on $2 day when I went over there, but I knew that it was still going to be there. So of course, when I went back, sure enough, it was. So I got this um, deluxe collectible um, mini display case. Now this is a case that you would put your mini figures in. So actually, let's see if I can put it together really quickly. It had all the pieces in it. Okay. What was interesting was that it's almost like a Lego type of um, surface. And I guess if you, you could probably put Lego. So that's the base. Uh, these are, sorry, I'm getting text messages from my siblings. Um, this is probably one of the, oh, let's look here. It'll show. One of the walls. Yes. Either that's the lid or that's, yeah, I think that's the lid. And so, yep, here we go. So these are the sides. And I've been wanting something like this for quite a while. So this will be great for me to be able to put um, some of the figures in and display them. So they're not taking up a lot of space in um, on the shelf. Because right now I have some displayed here on a, sh a small shelf. But they, yeah, they just take up too much space. Okay, why are you not going in? Hold on, I'm, I know I'm doing this off camera. Okay, well, maybe I should just do this <laughs> off camera or um, not while I'm filming. But anyways, yeah, so you get these acrylic walls, or rather um, clear, and then these, this is supposed to just, I guess, stack like that? What? I guess so, yeah. Yep. So I'm going to be putting in figures like the, uh, the Casper that I had showed, um, from a previous haul and then the little duck like this one, I'm going to put that one in there if he'll stand. Um, I'm looking at the other figures that I have, but I don't think they're going to work because they're the type of figures I have to hang off of a shelf. But the other one that I did get, I will go ahead and put that on there. So I picked that up. Um, I'm not even going to put that back in the box. And then the last item that I got from on Dollar Day was this laminating sheets. Um, actually, let me pull back. 
So this is the five mil and it's always good to have this. I do have a laminator and um, we do laminate some stuff. My parents, um, I don't know why, but they always like to laminate, um, you know, some important documents like their insurance cards for the car, you know, like the, the registration, stuff like that. So for $1, it's not a bad deal. And all the sheets are in there. So I got those. And then the item that I did pick up that was $8 and I, I'm not going to really tilt it was this. This is, um, I'm going to try to pronounce it, Hiroshizuki. Hiroshizuki. This is um, Fountain Pen Ink by Pilot. Let me see if I can, there we go. And this is the color, Shinkai. So when I saw this, I, I already have um, ink by Pilot. And it's the black one. So I knew what this box was when I saw it. I was kind of surprised. I've never seen um, fountain pen ink um, at any of the bin stores. And when I brought it up to the counter to be open, I wanted to check to see if the bottle was intact. Well, bottle is intact. It was the cap, the plastic cap that got smashed. I think it, um, when, I don't know if the person had received it this way or if it got smashed when it got returned or it was thrown it when it was thrown into the big pallet box or whatnot. But at least I kind of know what the color looks like. This is a beautiful blue color. So I took it out and I was wearing my gloves because I always wear gloves when I go to these stores because you never know when you're reaching in the bin, something might be shattered and you're going to cut your finger, get poked. It's happened to me several times. I've never gotten cut, but I have gotten poked um, when I started uh, shopping, you know, at these stores. So I started wearing like these work gloves, um, you know, like you can, uh, I guess like what they use, not for construction, but just, uh, I can't even describe them, but they have like the rubberized um, thing, you know, on this side of your hand. And then they're like spandex on this side. So at least it, you know, it's to protect my hands, but also to help me grip stuff because sometimes these boxes are just too slippery and it just, yeah, I'm able to like really sift through and lift stuff up to see what's underneath. Cause a lot of the good stuff is always underneath. Right. So anyways, um, yeah. So I asked the girl to open it and I didn't want her to get ink on her hands. So when I saw that the box was like that, I told her, nope, let me be the one to look. And this part, I've already taped it. This part right here of the cap had broke. But fortunately, there's still tons of ink. It looks like it was only a little bit of ink that came out. I don't want to tilt it because I don't want um, ink to come out just in case. So I taped back um, the part that was broken, but there is still a gap. So um, I might transfer this into a glass jar. Um, I just got to look for the right one that's going to be able to hold this amount of ink. So then that way I don't have to worry about the spilling everywhere. But it's a, like I said, it's a beautiful blue color. Like you can see right there. I love that. I, this is something I would not have normally bought this blue. Um, but now that I have it, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. It's like something like 15 to $18 on Amazon. And I'm glad I was able to get it for eight bucks. I didn't want to risk leaving it there and then, when I go back on dollar day, it's already smashed up and inks everywhere. And there's just no point, you know? So yeah, I was like it's eight bucks. So yeah. Um, I just went to the store. Cause like I said, I wanted to see what they had, um, so that I would have a better idea of what's to, you know, what to expect in the following week. So, um, they didn't, like I said, they didn't really have a lot. There was a lot of interesting items. Um, that I probably would have bought in the past, but now that I'm just kind of like, I'm being extra, extra picky because I don't want to accumulate too much stuff. So yeah, those are the items that I got um, total for this week. And I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and I will see you next week. All right, bye. Yeah, so that's what I got um, today is Wednesday of this week. All right. So I'll be back again with what I get tomorrow.